Hello and welcome back to the city of Soldun and city's skylines. We're in episode 22 now and this will be a industry special. Yes, we have uh, the forestry industry um, to build today and we will also uh, start the uh, main industry and factory area. So this will be yeah, a bit of a longer episode I think and uh, uh, while I would want to do the uh, fishing industry today. Um, I will do that in a later episode, but uh, for now uh, let's do the original uh, industry areas to start off. Um, yeah, we've done quite a few things since last, since last time. Uh, I just extended um, Kent here, just added a uh, small community down here. I don't really don't want this high, high, high rise building, but uh, well, that's okay. Uh, which I think is a a nice uh, small community down at the waterfront, um, which also leads to having more people. <coughs> sorry, uh, for the industry area, uh, which uh, sorry the oil industry area, which is now uh, level five, as you can see, uh, we are quite good at uh, producing uh, oil and uh, petroleum and plastics now, so that will be great for the um, industry area. Uh, I also created a <laughs> a small suburb here called Emscoat, um, just because we had some space there and it was uh, pretty suitable for a small suburb and we needed more people to upgrade the oil industry area. So, so that's it. Um, we also connected up more of the train tracks. Uh, all of these were functional in the last episode, uh, but I, I have been preparing. Yes, I have been preparing for the industry area. So there's a train line now going um, underneath all the way behind here. Uh, I didn't want to have it uh, in, in an underground tunnel or, uh, for the whole area, but yeah, it seemed proper because uh, I think this is so beautiful. So I didn't, I didn't want uh, any more train tracks to, um, to, um, to, um, uh, go through the uh, hills here. So um, it goes under underground and it comes up <coughs> here, as you can see. I also connected it up to the train tracks coming coming off from this side of the the map, so they have two entry points. There is also a, a bypass track going underneath from here all the way to somewhere around here, so they can just bypass this cargo station if they don't need to go there. I also did some. Um, uh, finicky things uh, in addition to this intersection which which was quite uh, uh, busy already uh, what I've done you might have seen it already but the industry area here have uh, have, have its own uh, on and off ramps as you can see you can come off from this side go back from this side there's some tunnels underneath there this can go directly onto the highway instead of going all the way up here um, and this guy is a yeah. This guy, uh, this road and this road is a one-way road. So uh, yeah, I think that is nice. Um, so I've just planned out a bit here. Uh, let's just change these guys to a two-lane road. Uh, do we have the one with parking on just one side? No. Okay, but no parking uh, here then. Uh, so let's just do something like this. You don't need a bit uh, three lanes here, so that's all right. And no, guys like that. Okay, uh, but first, let's focus on the forestry area. Um, I've already found a nice spot for it. Uh, I had to add some trees, but I think this is a good spot, um, seeing as it's uh, just off the uh, Industry area for the ore for Crawley. <laughs> this crane is just a beast up in hills there. It's so big. Anyway, so we have a decently sized um, area here up on the hills actually, which is Cressington. We're calling it Cressington Lumber Mills. So I just uh, made a roundabout here and a small road to, so just to start us off. Um, forestry. Yeah, so forestry is the last one of the first in the industry areas we're gonna do. Then we can start build, building up the factories. Uh, as you mentioned, fishing industry. 
I think that is quite fun to do. So I will do that in an own episode. Um, but for now, first your main building. Okay, that's quite big. Could we see the topography? I'm. Um, I think we can see the topography in some of these views. Terrain heights. Yes. Thank you, help bubble. Yeah. This isn't exactly flat, but it's a forest area, so I think that's nice. But uh, we want a flat spot for our um, for our uh, yeah for our, for our main buildings at least. So let's just do something like this. Uh, this seems to be the top, so let's just do let's just do a bigger one than this. Let's go maybe. Maybe the cliffs there can be a bit higher. And it's flat up, up, up until the cliffs there. Yeah, let's do a big square area just to start things off. Yeah, <laughs> somewhat square anyway. Something like that. Okay, does that look natural? Yeah, it still looks quite good. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this is the standard two-way road. I think that will work great here. Um, let's just do something like... Oh, can we actually do it? Ah. So let's just have big main road going into something like this and just continue this one up here. I think that is nice. I don't want to be all straight roads here, so let's just do something funky for this, this side. Yeah, something like this. And then you can come off and have a few buildings on the side here. Yeah, I think this is nice. Okay, just to start us off, we don't want uh, this, um, these uh, uh, big roads coming up here, so let's change them up, change them up to industry uh, roads. Which I think look a bit better suited for this area. Yeah, something like this. Uh, because there will be quite a lot of traffic up here, so uh, I think this looks a bit more realistic anyway. Um, let's, let's do the no parking ones. Ah, uh, no, they don't look good at all in this area, so uh, just standard roads then. I think this one is a bit too close. Oops, uh, I wanted to do something like this, I think. Yes. Okay, and uh, and um, oh, I am up. I am up uh, pretty early today, uh, so I'm not uh, uh, quite. I will. I'm not uh, quite. I will. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm quite awake yet. So um, yeah, it's uh, summer here now in Norway, and uh, it's yeah, it's twenty eight degrees inside, so it's quite hard to sleep at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, tr I'll try to make, make an interesting episode anyway. Ooh, we can have the main building on the cliff here, maybe. Nah, it, it actually won't suit us. What if we just extend this road here? Uh, industry road, uh, just... Will that look... Yeah, uh, I think that will look nice. Okay, so, so something like this then. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have the sawmill, the small tree plantation, and the small log yard, which is the starting buildings. First, let's do the gravel roads, because, um, well, let's just see how big they are. Okay, so this is a small one. We're going to have some big ones, but I think they will be more, more at the back side here. I think they'll look nice. The sawmill, the small factories can be alongside this road, so I think we'll just plop one down already. Actually, some, some warehouses would be nice here, so maybe on the other side then. Sure, let's put one down there. This is the log yard, so that is a storage unit, of course. Is this a bigger one? No, sawdust storage. Um, and yeah, there's the large uh, log yard. It's quite big. Um, we can have the large storage units alongside this road, maybe. So let's just start off with something small, something small here. Oh, and we need water. Uh, oops. Um, yeah, water, of course. Pipes. 
Let's just do it like this. Go upside this road. Boom. Water pipes to the people. Uh, something like this. We need. Yeah, we probably need to extend this in a, just a bit, but uh, for now it's okay. Are you are you getting water? Yeah. Okay, so you are complaining about uh, not enough raw materials, of course, and we need to build out some more roads then. Two-way gravel road and uh, gravel path. Yeah, two-way gravel road. Just I need to find out where where this is because I have installed a. A mod which uh, sorts the roads into uh, into uh, tabs and um, yeah, I can't seem to find this gravel road anymore. So uh, maybe it's under under um, a rural. Yeah, it is under rural. Okay, so now I know where, where it is. No country roads here. Country lane. The country roads. How do they look? Oh, they are so much better for this area yeah i'm just gonna go like this they look quite nice up in this hill okay so i'm glad i found uh, those i don't know who made these ones yeah it's uh, by uh, it's by uh, Altelta. Uh, he creates quite a few good assets for the um, uh, yeah, for Steam, uh, Steam Workshop. I'm just gonna do something like this then. Uh, maybe go back to the industry road here. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's nice. Okay, but the gravel roads, they're on the rural. Perfect. Uh, so we're gonna go a bit more freeform now. And uh, yeah, let's just delete that one. Let's create a small uh, network of roads here in the hills. like this and you're gonna continue down here okay let's just start off with something like this maybe like that and uh, let's do the pipes as well just to have everything complete for when it grows Okay, something like this. I'm not being particularly efficient with the pipes now. I think this is just curved roads all the way. Uh, yep, yeah, something like this. And, uh, and just connect it across here. And we will need to adjust this at a later stage, I think, but for now it's all right. Okay, so the last buildings we need is the uh, small tree plantations. I'm just going to speed up the game just to get things going. Oh, let's turn, turn off... Uh, Whiteness as well. Um, yeah, the big ones can be alongside this road because it's a bit uh, straighter, maybe. But uh, let's have some forestry um, yards in here, maybe. So something like that. Oh, I don't, I don't think they look that good in this area. Beach, maybe conifer. Uh, I actually prefer the conifers in in this area because the trees around there is a bit dark. Uh, if I was to be, be picky, I would change all of these trees here to the, to the same type, but uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's too just too much work, uh, so I'm not going to do that just now. Maybe at a later stage, but not, not today. Okay, so just see where we're, we're at. We have... Uh, yeah, we don't have uh, enough space for workers, uh, so we need to place down some more buildings, actually. And I think the sawmill the can be here, but the storage, the, the logger should actually be alongside. Uh, and uh, not too far away from the, um, the, the tree yard, so let's just have the small logger further along the way here, maybe. Let's just have it yeah, on, the, on the road there. And let's place down a few more of these um, small log yards, like that. Okay. So uh, um, we have uh, yeah we're, we're starting to produce uh, um, some goods already and the workers are um, pouring in we're already already at thirty eight workers um, okay so I'm gonna set up a, a bus route going to 
Chrisington and um, skip ahead a bit, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we have just reached level two at our forestry industry area. Uh, forestry industry, ooh, that's a tongue twister. Try telling, try saying that uh, 10 times in a row fast. <laughs> anyway, um, we have unlocked quite a few things. We have the uh, small tree sapling field now and the, um, not the sawmill we already had. Uh, yeah, the, uh, a biomass pellet plant, which takes raw forest projects and produces... Huh? Oh, paper? Oh, I didn't think this uh, guy produced paper, but... Uh, oh. Yeah, um, obviously it, it uh, uh, does. So it turns trees into paper. And it's always quite big. Uh, this will actually fit nicely alongside this straight there, so I think that will be a good spot for it. Um, also, we have the sawdust storage, uh, which is yeah, the same kind of storage as the the uh, small uh, log yard here. And we have some uh, houses, some forestry barracks, and we have a second one, which I got from the Steam Workshop. This is quite big, to be fair, but I think it's, it's nice. So, uh, if you started with, with the housing, oh, I must try to visit here. How, how does this look? Ah, it, it looks pretty distant actually, and I just need to put some fences in. Seems kind of, kind of dangerous to live here. Anyway, uh, not schools. There we are. Uh, let's put down some of the forestry workers' barracks as well. Oh, that is quite large as well. Why are all these forestry buildings so large? I'm actually gonna move the main building just off to this side. And place down the barracks on this side. Yeah, I think it, I think that looks quite nice. So we have all the housing here and some parking for them. Actually, yeah, these industry parking spots aren't looking that great, but um, yeah. Anyway, they'll stay for now. <clears throat> um, seeing as this is our fourth industry area, uh, it's taking quite a long time to get workers in because. Uh, yeah, we have uh, actually reached our uh, demand now, so um, yeah, so we actually need more people. So I'll do some, something about that in between episodes, but um, let's just place down some more buildings here and get uh, started on the industry factory area. So let's just put on some saplings, small sapling fields. Uh, I think the big fields will be alongside here and maybe here as well. Let's have some sapling fields just down the road here maybe. Two, two opposite of each other. This is the greenhouse versions, which look... Yeah, they look quite nice, actually. Well, they don't, don't look too nice, to be fair. Uh, how do how do the, um, the field looks? Actually, I think the field fields suit this area uh, better. Raw forest products. Yeah, it produces the same things. Um, okay, so to the big one. I actually think that, that one is in the way for the big one. No, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it down here. Uh, sure, we. I'm thinking about traffic. If we put it on this side, they will come up from the intersection, and they can't turn anywhere until they can come here. So, we need another road, maybe. But let's just do it like this and. We will need a new road. Okay, so if we just come back down then. Something like that. I think that's nice. And let's turn that into a uh, industry uh, road as well. Okay, so this takes, uh, of course, the forestry products as well. And um, produces paper. So let's put down a warehouse as well. Um, oh, it's starting to get, we're, we're starting to get quite a few buildings now, so paper, a uh, small warehouse maybe, big one, yeah, it is quite big, um, oh, it's very big, small one, yeah, I think it, it will fit alongside this road maybe. No, actually, I'm going to put it here. 
um, thinking about tra traffic, let's put it close and uh, and they, they can just go to the right there. So this will be a balanced storage mode and paper. Uh, we have some for forestry products as well, zone industry. Yeah, I think this is nice. Um, yeah, great stuff. So we have uh, the workplaces in place. Now we just need some more workers, and it's actually coming along quite nicely. Uh, we did place down everything, didn't we? Yeah, let's do the fences while, while we're here. While we're here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, not maybe free for uh, yeah. We should do it free form. Hang on. So let's just do something like this. I'm just gonna do it like that. Yes, and uh, let's go up here just to get some fences around the place. Uh, same on the other side. It looks quite nice here. So let's do it like this and. Like that, perfect. Okay, so the forest feeders here, they can just uh, keep on um, uh, growing. It actually is almost uh, um, 11:30 already, so we'll get back to that. But for now, it's the, it's a time to develop the factory area. We have a lot of factories here, so we will need to use both this side and maybe this side as well. Uh, I don't want to dig into the forest there because I think it looks nice and uh, it is. I think it's all right to have the train, the cargo station on the uh, outer side of the area. Okay, we have a lot of factories. We have the furniture factory, which we now have everything for. Uh, we have glass. Do you have glass? Yeah, I think that is an ore thing. Uh, this is the glass one. Yeah, fiberglass. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go through them. Uh, furniture factory. It's big. Uh, the bakery is in the farming area, so we won't put down that one. Industrial steel plant. Oh, that's massive. That is massive. It actually won't fit into any of these spots. So this will need to be on the other side here. Oh, I'm afraid of the amount of traffic that will create. The plastic factory is... Uh... Yeah, we have already placed this one down. Uh... Can't remember where, but anyway, I think it's in the Aura area. Toy factory, I have everything for that. It's a spoiler one. Well, <laughs> so that will be nice. The printing press, uh, we will unlock soon, because that's a Forestry thing, um, lemonade factory needs uh, crops and glass. I think that's nice as well. Quite big. Oh, these are quite big. These guys, electronics factory, big as well. Clothing factory, uh, it's slimmer at least. I have under uh, underestimated the size of these industry buildings. Petroleum refinery. Actually, the petroleum refinery, I think, will be better suited than in the oil area. And, uh, oh my god, it's big. It's massive. Uh, soft paper factory can actually be up in the forestry area. It's a, it's a level 4 forestry factory. Car factory. Okay, I think we just need this whole area for factories. That is insane. Uh, we could have some underpasses going underneath this road so we won't have the traffic going down the main road here maybe that's the best solution the food factory uh it's a sl oh that's quite quite slim actually uh, it looks nice maybe something around here uh sneaker factory oh sneakers oh this will actually have, oh, ah it connects on that side this actually it's a bit uh, easier, easier to place as well and uh, the uh, modular house factory is a level 5 uh, forester thing. And the shipyard. Shipyard needs to go some... Oh, uh, shipyard can actually go here. That's quite nice. Okay, so we have a plan. Uh, I need to create some roads for all this stuff. So um, let's do a time lapse.
Okay, so we're back and we have a basic layout for the industry area here. And um, yeah, I am trying to build around the forest there just to keep it, but uh, yeah, this car factory is just so, so big. And I want to place it down, but uh, it doesn't fit anywhere in, in my layout, except for of course here. And that's just barely, it barely fits inside. I, I almost think it's too big and maybe it should be somewhere else, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, keep keep to my to my uh, concept and have um, one big industry a uh, factory area. So um, we're we're gonna place it down and just place some more forests uh, somewhere else. I think. Okay, so let's just remove that those trees first. Um, yeah. Let's just do it like this. Goodbye trees. Okay, let's start out with the um, the car factory then, which is the biggest and hardest to place. Uh, we don't want any, anything. Um, I'm treating this road as a main, sort of main road. It connects up the, the main road here uh, via, via the two roundabouts. So I'm trying to not have too much, uh, too much entrances on this road, if I can. So this one I want to place uh, it actually fits pretty well inside here, but uh, oh, it's oh, it's just too big, man. Um, okay, I'm gonna place it down this way. Uh, like, I want some something on the edge there, so maybe something like this. Okay, so we're placing it down there. Look at this guy; it's just massive. So yeah, we can have some paths and, and such down here, just to seal things off. Uh, let's just do some, something just to get things started. Um, like this, and just straight on. I think this will be a good spot for a walking path as well. Something like this. Just to uh, remind me that I need to do some something in the future. Um, perfect. It's a bit easier to walk, walk them. Oh, before anything, uh, of course, water pipes. Lots of lots of water pipes. Something like this, down here. Yeah, and we just continued the um, main avenue down here and then um, uh, hooked it up into this roundabout. Um, I don't think we're gonna have some more stuff this way, so I think this connects up, up well as is. Yeah, I know there's going to be a big electronics factory, so I'm just putting in more pipes than I need. <clears throat> just have to go to, across, and uh, I think that's okay. Okay, so that's the car factory. Uh, it needs animal products. Animal products? Ah, uh, for the seats probably. Plastics, glass, and metals. Into cars. Uh, oh, Jesus, this is going to be a big project. Um, uh, 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 so of, of course we need a place to have all the uh, warehouses as well, <laughs> which will take even more place. So I'm maybe saving this spot for warehouses on this side and maybe this small one here, <clears throat> uh, just to keep some products. Uh, let's go uh, from the start. Furniture factory. How big is, are you? Ah, oh, you're not too big. You can actually fit down here. This, uh, th this can fit anywhere, so let's... Wait with that, uh, the industrial steel plant is the other big one. Yeah, that's the, the other big one. Why oh, didn't it actually almost fits down here? I think we're just gonna anarchy in this in. If it doesn't fit anywhere else. Well, it does fit here, but then um, I think this is a good spot for a wider one. Almost fits here. Actually, actually this would fit really well there. Here, but uh, no, I'm uh, keeping it on the side here, so uh, let's just uh, anarchy this one in just like that. How does that look? Yeah, it clips just a tad bit, but we could uh, just move the train tracks, I think. Uh, so let's just do it like that, something like this. And I don't mind if it looks a, uh, a bit strange, we just need to keep it tight. Yeah. So I think that's okay. Uh, we could move the, the roads and such as well. Let's just do that when we're at it. So, like that, that, 
that and let's move it together with the factory. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm uh, satisfied with that for now. What does this need? Uh, uh, it just needs uh, and metals. Yeah, well, you're in luck, the ore uh, area is just around the corner. Okay, uh, two buildings down, uh, a lot more to go. Uh, yeah, and we, we just, um, uh, the first area just uh, uh, leveled up to level three, so we now unlocked some more. It's soon going to be level four as well. So that unlocked the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, um, I can't remember anything. Uh, yeah, the printing press. What does the printing press need? Uh, it, it needs paper and plastic. If this is big. Uh, it's not too big. I'm contemplating. I'm contemplating just uh, having it appear as well. It wouldn't fit in, fit in the area, so. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna have the printing press appear. How does that look? Ooh, pop on here. That looks pretty nice, actually. There's the printing press, it needs paper and plastics, and plastics you are getting from the... Actually, you need a warehouse for the plastics, for the oil. Uh, for, from the oil area. Uh, so let's just do that right away. Yeah, as I mentioned in, at the start of the episode, this is going to be a bit, a bit of a longer episode. So, uh, I hope that's okay from time to time. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do a road down here. Let's just do it like this. Maybe we can squeeze in a warehouse here. Oops, that, that's not a warehouse. Ah, it's a field there. Um, you know what? Can we just do it like this? It, it actually fits. And uh, we got an, an, an achievement as well. Scaling up. Which is... Uh, uh, yeah, I build 10 warehouse buildings. And this needs water as well, so let's put down the pipes here. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, not more roads. Uh, this is going to be the um, plastics. We need some more plastics here, and this needs. This can have the um, unique factory products because this is creating printed products. Yeah, which is a a, uh, yeah, which is a unique factory product, uh, product, I guess. Plain timber. Actually, we need a warehouse for the... Oh, I'm just all over the place today, but we need a warehouse for the... The... Um, the uh, sawmills as well, because they produce plain timber. Yep. So, you can go there. Sure. Okay, we have quite a lot of places now. Back to the industry area. I haven't called this anything, by the way, uh, so if anyone has any name suggestions, I'm open to that. I'm just going to zone it properly, just so I can see. Also alongside the highway here. This is just so big. I haven't uh, created a proper industry area before, so this is my first time just creating something uh, this large. I'm quite enjoying it. it. It's a bit chaotic. I think this uh, uh, this this whole uh, city is starting to be a bit chaotic, and it's quite big. Uh, we have we have you know almost seventy two thousand people. So yeah, in a, in a future uh, save save as I mentioned, I will um, I will probably create the city in a more more um, uh, uh, slow. <laughs> on manner, just to um, focus focus a bit more on uh, detailing and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, but back to factories. There's so, so much to do. Okay, so it's making cars actually. It has all the uh, the um, products it needs. The steel plant is producing steel, steel products, cars. Yep. I'm gonna hang on uh, and create a warehouse at the end. The toy factory, how big are you? I, you're not too big. Uh, the lemonade factory? Ah, uh, you're the big one, okay. So you're the one you're just gonna put down. Oh, you fit, you actually fit down here. Okay, I'm sold. Lemonade factory down. 
And you need crops and glass. Uh, yeah, glass you get from here and uh, crops you get from the farming area. Okay, so next one. I'm just placing down everything now. Uh, yeah, the petroleum uh, refinery. Let's go down to the oil, uh, to the refinery area. Yeah, I'm just gonna plop this down here because. Uh, oh, can I fit it in at this area maybe? Yes, we can. We just need to adjust the train tracks a bit. The move it mod is really handy in, in uh, situations like this when you need to to um, change uh, some areas up. Something like this and this. Okay, just gonna curve them a bit better. Okay, something like this, and a curve here, and a curve here, maybe a bit more here, and you can go further out. Okay, I think that looks starts to look nice. Let's just uh, see if we have enough space now. Uh, yes, we do. I need to... Can I build on water? Where's the water? Okay, let's just uh, try to level out the area. It's a big, bit big, uh, like that. It's a bit small. So maybe something like this then. And we have the level 3 uh, a nature uh, at his serve. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things happening today. I'm, I'm sorry for a bit of a chaotic episode, but I think it'll, it, will, it will be nice. So... Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, it's so big. Okay, I'm just gonna anarchy a bit a bit further towards the road here, something like that. And of course fix the spawn points. Uh, can you go a bit further down here? And further in. Okay, so it won't uh, disrupt the traffic too much then. Perfect. Ah, this creates fuels, so it needs uh, uh, metals as well. Okay. And on another uh, detour, but um, I think it will, um, it will, uh, it will uh, serve us well in the end. So I'm just gonna put down a warehouse again and have some uh, metals come down here. Metals, perfect. Plastics, petroleum, metals. Plastics as well. Okay, plastics. Uh, yeah, plastics is actually created here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Back to the industry area again. I'm just all over the place today. Yeah, I'm gonna look, take a look from this side now. We do want something on this side as well. So, uh, let me see. Factories. Who's the biggest one left? This is a bit long, but not too big. This is very long. Actually fits quite nicely there. You are, you're quite big, the electronics factory. I, th I thought I put that, the one down. I was a steel plant I put down here. Um, down here. The electronics factory will. F pro or we'll need to do redo some of the railroads again if I put it down there. Yeah. Well, it well it does fit down here, and if we put around a road, apparently can have all the traffic come off that way. Okay, so that is reserved for that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do it right away because otherwise I'll forget it probably. Um, so if we could do something like this, maybe, is that far enough? Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, so, smack in the middle. Great stuff. Uh, you are the clothing factory. You're long, but small. Long, but small, long, but small, and eh, not too big. You are the toy factory. Small, and the furniture factory. Okay, so... Uh, the furniture factory needs timber, and plain timber and paper, and both of these guys are actually created in the forestry area here. And then we have a, we have a bridge, as you can see. So I think this will fit nicely on this side of the river. Uh, if we then just put it down... The longer ones can be here. We could just put it down there, maybe. I, I don't want it to connect to this road, actually. Okay, we'll just put it on down there. Uh, I think.
Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, we can uh, find a justice at a later stage, but uh, for now it's okay. Ten timber and paper. <clears throat> okay, and uh, next one. Toy factory is small as well. Uh, it fits down on this road. I think that's nice. Yep. Do you fit here? No. Uh, you can fit almost anywhere, actually. We, we need some warehouses at this side as well, so maybe just save that spot. We could just place it down here. Alongside this road. Maybe the warehouses should be at this road. Or oh, it actually fits down here. I'm sold. Okay. We still have two ones who are unlocked, and this... Uh, and I think this uh, factory, the, the modular house factory, is just going to be really big, I think. So we'll, we'll save the largest spot for that one. And uh, the shipyard. And oh, the shipyard. Yeah, I actually found a good spot for that. Boom. I think that's uh, the only place I can place it down there. So let's just go back to Industry Road. Um... Uh, no, that curve is not necessary. Something like this, and this. Oh, that's an ugly curve. Hang on, that's one ugly curve. That's better, still a bit wonky. Okay, that'll work. Uh, you need water as well, of course. These factories are thirsty. Something like this. I think that's nice. Does the shipyard have an ocean connection? Yeah, yeah, it can kind of get into the ocean. Timber, plastics, glass, and uh, metals. Everything is uh, actually produced in this area, so that's nice. Uh, except for the plastics, that is. The nafta cracker. Steel. Okay. We actually have 466 workplaces in this industry area. Uh, next factory is the... We have three more factories left. Uh, in addition to the... The... Um, two that aren't uh, unlocked yet. This one is... Uh, quite nice. We can have it coming off this way. Uh, we can also uh, move these guys at a later stage. Is this one you need to have on this side, maybe? Yeah, I think this is nice. Let's just have it there. And lastly, the clothing factory. Boom. Okay. Here's our factory area. And it's quite big. I'm just gonna do some off-camera work. I'm gonna place down the. Just gonna place a road here. Yeah, you can add a key. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna place down down all the warehouses because we need quite a lot, and uh, also um, try to tidy up some things. Uh, yeah. This uh, uh, yeah, this uh, railroad tracks need a bit of a, a um, adjustment and uh, things like that. So I'll uh, do that and I'll be right back. Okay, to finish off this episode, I uh, just want to show you around a bit. Um, as you can see, I've done quite a bit um, to try to uh, create a industry area, which is... Um, a, a, uh, yeah, a, a bit uh, green. Um, we need, need, need some trees after we uh, uh, we um, uh, demolished all those trees beneath the car factory. So um, I created a park, uh, put some tree lines here and there, uh, the parking on both sides. Uh, no, actually not on this side. We need some parking here in the future. Uh, but yeah, uh, some of the factories are of course complaining about uh, the uh, uh, yeah yeah that they need more goods, so we will need to uh, perhaps uh, 
grow our, our other industry areas as well. <clears throat> but that will be in the future. Oh, oh, auto save. Uh, maybe in between episodes as well. And then, and then I need workers, of course. So uh, yeah, but we're coming along well. Uh, we still have two forestry factories to put down, but um, the forestry area is still level three, so we'll wait for that. We have a few warehouses now for all the things we need for these factories, uh, and a few warehouses for the <coughs> for the unique factory products they are producing. And let me say the traffic is, isn't that bad. I think this has been working out really well. Uh, so yeah, the next thing will be to get more people into the city because uh, yeah, we need more people to work in these areas. So um, I don't want, um, I don't know what we'll do in the next episode, but uh, we have a few projects left uh, to do in this uh, city, and that is a airport, which I think uh, we have a, quite a few good spots for the airports. One is this big open area here, which is nice. Um, for a new town, we could use these two spots just to grow this area a bit. Yeah, we have quite a lot of possibilities. Uh, a fishing is also one thing we need to take a peek at. And, uh, and you, to be fair, uh, some fishing industry in this area would be quite nice. We could have one in the ocean and one in the river here. Hmm. So uh, those are things we will take a look at in uh, future episodes. Yes, uh, and yeah, I totally forgot at, at, at the start of the episode. Uh, when I created the forestry area... Oh, where am I? I'm getting quite uh, dizzy. There, there we are. Crescenton. You might have seen them already, but we have created some ferry stops. Uh, mainly, we have one in the industry area. One in... Um, uh, yeah, just below Crescenton. And then, of course, one behind the trade station in Solon, actually. Which is getting a fair bit of use. So uh, that was because we wanted um, uh, the people working in the industry areas to have more options when it comes to public transport. And I also created a line going to uh, the outskirts of possible banks and Skurbeck. So yeah, we've got quite, quite a few um, public transport possibilities now. Or, uh, yeah, or options, I mean. So yeah, we'll continue to grow the city, and uh, yeah, in uh, the uh, next episode, episode 23, probably gonna start with an airport, or we do need more people, so maybe we'll start to build out a suburb here as well. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, leave any comments down below, and uh, I am always open for suggestions, so... Um, yeah, just type them down. So I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.